a trend we see every year as we approach the holiday season. The amount of domestic violence calls in Omaha go up drastically. We want to make sure everyone in Omaha is safe. Uh, Jenna James joins us now live with the signs to look out for that for your relationship may not be as healthy as it seems. Jenna, good morning. Good morning, Dave and Cerise. The difficult part about a number of these signs is that they're not very obvious or they may be brushed aside or misinterpreted. Something like physical abuse is always very clear, but if it's emotional, financial, or sexual abuse, it's not necessarily as clear. Now, here's some of the warning signs that you may want to look for. The WCA tells me if your partner is controlling, checking up on you frequently, or gets angry when you don't reply to their texts or calls immediately, those can all be signs. Now, the WCA often sees that a potential abuser will exclude their partner from family and friends for no good reason. They simply say they don't like you hanging out with them. Plus, there's likely some aspect of stalking or checking up on you. Maybe they show up unannounced. It starts off um, almost as like charming, as strange as that sounds, because they could show up where you work at the end of the day uh, and just say, I just wanted to see you. But in reality, they're making sure you're at work. They could potentially be seeing who you're talking to at work, where you're parking. Um, they could even be following you. And as we head into the holiday season, family members, you can also do your part to make sure that your loved ones are staying safe. So if your family member suddenly isn't going to come to the holidays, though that was the plan the entire time, and they don't have a good reason for why they're not coming, it could be that their partner is preventing them from seeing you. Also, if someone tells you their relationship isn't the same, or perhaps that their partner is suddenly acting differently, they could be trying to reach out to you to get help because Dave Cerise, no one's going to flat out say, I'm being abused. That is such a difficult thing to admit to someone. You just need to listen and really let them know that you're going to trust them and that your gut instinct, if you if that feels off, say something. Yeah, Jenna, this is certainly something difficult to talk about with family members. How can a family member approach someone about this conversation? Well, just start with saying something along the lines of, how's your life going? How's your relationship going? Just make sure that you let them know that you're not going to judge them and you're there to listen to them. No one is going to be upset if you try to reach out to a loved one to make sure they're, they're okay. All right, great advice this morning. Jenna Jane's reporting live. Jenna, thank you.